Hi guys, welcome back to the Ultimate Tech Hub. On today's video, I want to talk about the PS5 software corruption error. That's right, if you're lucky enough to get a PS5, well then great. But now you may have a problem. When you go to update your software, you may get that corruption <laughs> file error. Well today, I'm going to show you exactly how to fix that. All right guys, the first thing you want to do is put your PS5 in the safe mode. Now don't be scared, it's there for a reason. So let's get into safe mode and fix this PS5 corruption issue. All right guys, to get into safe mode, turn off your PS5 manually by holding the power button. Once the PS5 console is off, press and hold the power button again. Then release the power button after you hear the second beep. Now connect the controller with the USB cable and press the PS button on the controller. You're now officially in safe mode. And as you can see, there's quite a few options in safe mode. But the option we're going to focus on is clearing system software cache. You're going to want to clear your system software cache if you're experiencing system update file corruption errors, system feature issues, or any performance drops. So go ahead and select clear system software cache. After clearing the system cache, your PS5 will turn on in normal mode. Next, go to System Settings and update your system software. You can update via internet or USB. I recommend internet. Your system is now updated. Woohoo! Now that the SU error is fixed, let's do one more thing. Go back into Safe Mode. Select Rebuild Database to scan the PS5 drive and create a new database of all content on the system. This option is imperative if you're experiencing system feature issues or a game icon remains on the home screen after it has been deleted. And once again, after it rebuilds the database, it will start up in normal mode. And one last thing you can do is restore game licenses if your games are not working properly. And this feature can be found in System Settings, Users and Accounts, and then Restore Licenses. So guys, by doing these three options, you'll fix the file corruption error, and you're going to improve the performance of your PS5 system. And guys, I want to thank you so much for watching. And once again, if you like these videos, give a thumbs up and share it. And if you love it, hit subscribe to keep this channel alive. Thank you again for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a great day.